I want to take an opportunity to discuss uh, BDM30 and um, the biological activity. What makes this thing different? What makes curcumin BDM30 different than most curcumin extracts in the marketplace? And uh, I'm going to highlight then how that relates to Purica's new curcumin that's been launched in the industry. The feedback has been phenomenal. People are saying, you know, this works within hours. Um, instead of days that's uh, typically required for curcumin. Um, bioavailability for curcumin BDM30 is phenomenal. Uh, the results have been um, remarkable. So what's, what is different about this new technology that is patented and has really give us, given us some insight in curcumin that is very different from what we've known in the past? Uh, that's what we're going to discuss real quickly here just to differentiate it. Now, I want to give deliver a conflict of interest statement saying, uh, stating that, um, that uh, my biomedical research laboratory, Biologic, uh, was involved in the research and owns the IP, and therefore my information could be relatively biased, but we'll try to deliver the science as best we can and uh, deliver unbiased scientific information that you can digest. Regular curcumin. Here we go. Regular curcumin typically exists of three subfractions, three curcuminous. It doesn't matter which curcuminoid uh, extract you buy in the marketplace. Curcumin 95% extract from one company, company two, company three, they're all going to have these three curcuminoids in them in various concentrations. But this is the key. This curcumin 3, this bis dimethoxy curcumin, BDM, it only exists roughly at 0.2 to 2% concentration in these curcumin extracts. What we've done is we have a compositional change based on this novel research, this novel discovery that, un that delivers an understanding to us that curcumin-3 can play a significant role in the anti-inflammatory activity of curcumin if it's raised to concentrations that allow it to participate. And so BDM-30 technology then causes the BDM, the third curcuminoid, to be raised to 30% concentration. Now, keep in mind that BDM-30, or the curcumin-3, can do what the curcumin-1 and 2 can. It can do what these two curcumin curcuminoids do in the curcumin extract. But it has other uh, activity that 1 and 2 does not have. And here's how this plays out biologically. Curcumin-3, but not curcumin-1 and 2. Curcumin-3, but not curcumin-1 and 2, inhibits a specific protein that regulates the activity in our nucleus, in our cells, um, involved in making cytokines. These are inflammatory compounds. And so regularly, typically, regular curcumin inhibits NF-kappa B. It's a protein involved in the transcription and the, the making, the transcription of cytokines. These cytokines then serve as signals for inflammatory activity. Regular curcumin can slow down that transcription or that, that, that synthesis, this, this, um, the, the generation of these cytokines. But there's a second protein called MSK1. And MSK1 regulates how this activity occurs. It's like a key. And it signals the transcription factor to go and deliver its activity. And so what BDM30 does, what curcumin3 does, that curcumin2 and curcumin1 do not do, is that it inhibits this protein that turns everything on. So even though we have a protein that's a doer that makes these cytokines um, and regular curcumin can slow it down, what we do with BDM30 is we slow it down just like regular curcumin does, but we also turn off its key so it can't be turned on. And this is one of the reasons why people see results more quickly and more intensely, especially for conditions that are more aggravated and more chronic. So to highlight again the thing that makes this very different is that you have um, two different levels of activity for BDM30. Uh, we inhibit this translocation of NF-kappa B, which means it's not able to move into the nucleus effectively to deliver the results. And regular curcumin can do this, but regular curcumin cannot do this. And that is inhibit the key that turns on this transcription factor. So to really boil it down, this bis-dimethoxycurcumin, or BDM30, will slow down or stop two proteins, two proteins that are critical in the inflammatory activity versus the one protein that regular curcumin can inhibit. And this is one of the reasons why you have compounding intensified uh, and effects. 
The other thing that's critically important is that um, BDM30 or curcumin 3 has an extremely high ORAC value. Now, ORAC is the uh, scale by which we measure antioxidant activity. Regular curcumin's ORAC value is does not exceed, no matter which test you do, 100,000, 120,000 ORAC on this ORAC 6 scale. And we have here curcumin BDM 30 measuring in excess of 500,000, 560,000 to be more accurate. Uh, 560,000, so that ORAC value delivers an antioxidant activity that's very high and unprecedented in the marketplace. So we have BDM 30 delivering 60 times more BDM than regular curcumin, 60 times more and 1,200 times more than regular turmeric. And that's it. Um, that's what we've got. So, um, you know, when we actually then boil down this composition and pharmacological activity into how does this work in the cells, it shows you here, I mean, this may look like a mess from there, but the reality is in the center, we see these bars are extremely low to no activity. And that's where we have BDM30 showing activity, where on the ends here we've got other curcumin products that are in the marketplace, aspirin, ibuprofen, and each one of these boxes represents a different cytokine, a different um, chemical that beacons our immune system and inflammatory activity, and we can see that BDM30 performs better than the NSAIDs, non steroidal anti-inflammatories, as well as other curcumins that are in the marketplace today, and um, there you have the activity for BDM30 and how it relates to Purica's new curcumin made exclusively with BDM-30.